Hello everyone, this is Sir James and welcome to our math video tutorials. Ngayong araw, ang pag-aaralan natin ay tungkol sa multiplying decimals and mixed decimals. At para sa ating objective ngayon, we're going to multiply decimals and mix decimals with factors up to two decimal places. For example, we're going to multiply 63 hundredths times 3 and 14 hundredths. Sa pagmumultiply ng ating decimals ay meron tayong apat na steps na dapat sundin. For our first step, write the decimal numbers vertically. So, aayusin natin ng patayo. 3 and 14 hundredths times 63 hundredths. Pagkatapos natin maayos ito, step number 2. Multiply the decimal numbers like whole numbers. So, ang trick dito, kung marunong ka mag-multiply ng whole numbers, ay madali na lang para sa iyo mag-multiply ng decimals. Kung paano tayo mag-multiply ng whole, ganun din po tayo mag-multiply ng decimal numbers. So, Ang gawin natin, i-disregard muna natin ang ating decimal point. Start with 3. So, 3 times 4 is equals to 12. Carry 1. 3 times 1 is equals to 3. Plus 1 is equals to 4. 3 times 3 is equals to 9. So, pagkatapos ng 3, ang next natin ay 6. 6 times 4 is equal to 24. So, since nasa second digit na tayo, dapat ay sulat natin dito ay 0. Sulat natin yung sagot. 24 carry 2. 6 times 1 is equal to 6 plus 2 is equal to 8. And 6 times 3 is equal to 18. Next step, we're going to add the partial products. Ang ating partial product ay ito, 942 plus 18,840. We're going to add 2 plus 0 is equal to 2. 4 plus 4 is equal to 8. 9 plus 8 is equal to 17. Carry 1. 1 plus 8 is equal to 9. Then, bring down 1. So, ang trick dito sa pagmamultiply natin ng decimals ay eh kung saan natin dapat ilagay ang ating decimal point sa ating final product. So, for our step number 4, or the, our last step, count the decimal places of the factors and put on the decimal points after the last decimal place. So, ang ibig sabihin nito, bibilangin natin kung ilang decimal places ang ating mga sa ating mga factors. Unahin muna natin sa ating multiplicand. So, sa pagbibilang ng kanyang decimal places, lagi tayo magsimula dito. So, we're going to count how many places? 1, 2. So, ibig sabihin, there are 2 decimal places in our multiplicand. Next, in our multiplier. So, we're going to count also the decimal places in our multiplier. Start from here. So, 1, 2. We also have 2 decimal places in our multiplier. So, dalawa sa ating multiplicand, dalawang decimal places din sa ating multiplier. So, ibig sabihin nun ay dapat meron tayong 4 places sa ating final product. So, ibig sabihin, we're going to count 4 decimal places from here. So, if we count 1, 2, 3, 4. Ibig sabihin, ang ating decimal point will put between 1 and 9. So, therefore, our final product is 1 and 9,000 782 ten thousands.
Okay, para mas maintindihan pa natin, bibigyan ko kayo ng isa pang example. Example, we're going to multiply 2 and 4 tenths times 5 and 72 hundredths. So again, we have four steps to be followed. For step number one, write the decimal numbers vertically. So ayusin natin ito patayo. We have 5 and 72 hundredths times 2 and 4 tenths. So kung napapansin niyo kung paano ko siya inayos, okay, unlike dun sa ating mga naunang video, sa ating naunang lesson about adding and subtracting decimals, doon dapat ang ating decimal point ay naka-align. Same as also with our ones, with our tenths, hundreds, and so on ay dapat naka-align. Dito sa multiplying decimals, kahit hindi naka-align ang ating decimal point, no problem. After nating ayusin pa tayo, step number 2, multiply the decimal numbers just like multiplying whole numbers. So, parang nagmamultiply lang tayo ng whole numbers. So, ang trick natin, we're going to disregard first the decimal point here. So, wag muna natin pansinin ang ating decimal point dyan. So, start at 4. So, 4 times 2 is equals to 8. 4 times 7 is equals to 28. Carry 2. 4 times 5 is equals to 20. Plus 2 is equals to 22. Next, tayo sa ating second digit. So, dahil nasa pangalawa na tayo, dapat ang isulat natin sa ilalim ng 8 ay 0. 2 times 2 is equals to 4. 4 will be written below 8. 2 times 7 is equals to 14. Carry 1. 2 times 5 is equals to 10. Plus 1 is equals to 11. Next, step number 3. Add the partial products. Ito ang ating unang partial product. Ito naman yung ating ikalawang partial product. So, if we're going to add 8 plus 0 is equals to 8. 8 plus 4 is equals to 12. Carry 1. 1 plus 2 is equals to 3. Plus 4 is equals to 7. 2 plus 1 is equals to 3. And then, bring down 1. So, next step, we're going to count the decimal places of the factors and put on the decimal point after the last decimal place. Huwag nating kakalimutan na ilagay ang ating decimal point. Ang trick dito, saan natin ilalagay. So, para malaman natin ang tamang placement ng ating decimal point, we're going to count the decimal places of our factors. So, ito yung ating factors. Multiplican ilang decimal places. We're going to count from here. So, 1, 2. Ibig sabihin, sa ating multiplican, we have 2 decimal places. Next, how many decimal places in our multiplier? So, we're going to count from here. Sa kanan. 1. So, in our multiplier, we have 1 decimal place. So, if we have 2 decimal places in the multiplicand, 1, in the, one decimal point place in the multiplier, ibig sabihin, we're going to have 3 decimal places in our final product. So, ibig sabihin, magbibilang tayo ng 3 places from here. So, we're going to count 1, 2, Three. So, ibig sabihin, we're going to put the decimal point between 3 and 7. So, our final product is 13 and 728 thousands. So, sana naintindihan nyo ang ating aralin sa araw na ito. Ngayon naman, subukan nga natin kung natutuka sa araling ito. 
Maaari mong sagutan ang mga sumusunod na katanungan sa pamamagitan ng pag-post ng video ito. Dahil sa susunod yung slide, ay papakita ko naman ang tamang sagot. Kung natapos mo na, narito ang mga tamang sagot. Tama ba ang mga sagot mo? Kung tama, ay binabati kita. Ibig sabihin, natuto ka sa araw na ito. Hanggang dito na lamang, hanggang sa susunod ulit nating video tutorials. Again, this is Sir James, ay yung virtual math teacher. Maraming salamat! Paalam!